to the salmon files with me your girl no fuses uh last time uh iris got kidnapped and we don't know if to really trust her or not even though i chose the trust option uh i'm still you know in neutral about that and uh we, we're finding out everyone's a bunch of freaking snitches and we can't trust nobody anymore we can't we can't trust anybody anymore everyone's a suspect even the kids everyone's a suspect because I'm just finding out that lots of people are stabbing me in the freaking back. So, without further ado, let's get into it and rescue Iris from this mayhem that we found ourselves in. And if you guys like this game and would like to see more videos of it, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like and subscribe button. Work together and get our Tessa back. All right, here we go. Yeah. This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah. Shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart, we stand. Show no mercy, for you shall receive none. Osa is looking crazy right now, like. I know he's supposed to look happy, but he looks just crazy to me. And they keep saying this whole like hero speech, like they're magically gonna get superpowers and like burst through all those guns and barricades. Yeah! It seems they've already become good friends. Iris has extraordinary power. Good, it's working. I explained the situation to Mizuki and Ota. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. You got it! And Mizuki? You're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. And what powers are those? Leave it to me. Hey, Dante! What are you gonna have her do? She might not look it. She's something else. Is she super strong? Because I remember she was like bench pressing those weights like they were nothing. Is it super strength? You take her down without a fight. You sure about this? Yup. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. So, now you know your jobs. This is how we get through. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? I felt like Ozette wanted to say something, All but right. okay. Let's do this. Yeah, let's lock and load. We're coming for you, Tessa! On three! One, two, three! Go! I'm surprised the guards haven't like rushed in and was like, what's with all the cheering and pep talk I hear over on the corner? And so Operation Iris Rescue began. Full throttle, Oda. Hey, look! Is that a tank? All right, let's do this. Kill him! Damn, there's too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. I have to think of something. Yeah, use the barrels.
Date, I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Hey, the last one didn't fail. Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? Why are you carrying that around with you? <laughs> That's a yes. Last night you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. Wow, Dante. Just wow. She's your freaking eye. Of course she knows. I'm your left eye, Dante. Of course I would know. Ding ding. Oh, here, here we go with the mini heart attack. In any case, throw it at the drum. Oh. Nikki said no. Why not? You're about to cry. This is a collector's item. It's SSR. I can't just throw it away. So what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? He's gonna choose Eros. Hmm. <laughs> she, she's like Iris. <laughs> she's like say it, do it, say it. Hurry. They're closing in! Oh, oh wait, can't, can't we... He's like, oh! He's so devastated. He's like, oh, no! Oh, snap. Did I die? What? Yeah, I died. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. I was like, oh shit, what do I do? Oh my god, that's hilarious. It's like, did I die? I died. Yeah, I died. <laughs> the pain on his face. Oh, there we go. I did it right this time. Take I was pressing this. it, but I guess you have to press it exactly press it at the same time. What? Could it be the legendary? The legendary. Oh, this is amazing. No one back home will believe me. Yeah, now shoot the barrel. Date now! Shoot the drum! <laughs> He's crying! <laughs> Now's no time for crying! The drum contains flammable liquids! Do you understand? Fine, I got it. Right in the face. <sighs> There's still more of them. And no more oil drums to blow up. I'm at my limit here. Wait. Iba, any ideas? Oh yes, the crane. Hmm. Let me see. Dante, last night you picked up something else, didn't you? Oh God, what was it? It's something you're not supposed to have, like except from your whistling. I told you, don't act innocent. Really? 
You're a panty snatcher now? I'm talking about the panties and bra you shot down in Golden Yokocho. I I am so disappointed in you, Dante. You're that you desperate. And uh -huh. your pathetic excuses. Just aim under the container. No. Damn it, Dante! No. <laughs> I was gonna give this to Reka as a gift. Someone's used underwear as a gift? You're cheap and gross. Someone else's underwear? Exactly. Wine and underwear are best when aged. No comment. I have nothing for it. Just okay skip past it. it. <laughs> Dante. Dante, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble! Look, we're having a discussion with our AI slash I, okay? Shush. Dante! Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? <laughs> the pain look. He's like, oh. What the hell? This is too funny. This must be a gift from heaven! So wet, as wet as it gets! So dirty! Shameless! What's Absolutely wrong with y'all? Shameless! Good, that went well. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. Is he crying again? I see it. I can shoot the kid. Okay, he's good now. Can you make the shot? Yeah. Then let's go. That's quite the shot. Oh, I don't have to do anything? Oh, I do. Never mind. Oh, snap. Oh, shit, move! Oh, okay. No one got crushed horribly. You know, they're the bad guys. It's like, ah! Let's go. Roger. You shouldn't have any more items for distraction, so what are you going to use now? Last one. Once we get through here, then. What's the plan? Find them. My turn. Wait, Mizuki! Oh, that idiot! I'm pressing A. A. Okay. God dang. How you avoid all those bullets when you literally just stood there for like five whole seconds? I will never know. Motherfucker! <laughs> I was 
was like, yeah, kick their ass. They, these sounds don't sound like punches. It's oh! okay. Okay. Thank you. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. Dante! So smooth. <laughs> Ota, mission complete. All right, got it. Okay, Peter, what are you doing out there? He didn't seem surprised either. He was just kind of like, huh. After that, we split up and booked it. Moma got behind the wheel of this vehicle. Oda took the van. I got into my own car. Mizuki went with Oda and Iris came with me. We drove off as fast as we could in different directions. The rain poured down easily. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the fine drops of rain. Oh, we're back at the shrine now. Oh, red, 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 red. Date, Moma and Mizuki Dun contacted us. I almost spoke over her. They're all safe. Good. I breathe a long sigh of relief. Oh yeah, and before I continue, there's something that entered my mind since the last video that I, I wasn't too sure of that she said that I didn't really pick up on, but now I kept thinking about it. Um, she said, Iris said that they need her in order to complete the project. Why is that, though? What does she gotta do with it other than the fact that she knows what most of their plans are? So it's just like... Hmm... Interesting. I'm getting more and more sus about Iris. Every time I try to dissect this so the, this entire situation that we have got ourselves in. But like I said, let, let's just continue on and hope that I made the right choice in trusting her. If not, it's going to probably blow up in my face later. The offering box. Yeah, I'm a lot better actually. Um Sorry, by the way, for everything. During our skip, Eris got motion sickness. I decided to pull over at Aikum Shrine so she could rest. Oh, okay. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway... There's nothing else to say, but thank you. Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Wow. Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what uncle taught me. The uncle again. Yeah. Perhaps it is not the flower itself that Iris likes. Do you think the fruit of immortality really exists? Legend about the shrine? Yeah. 
told you yesterday, I don't believe in that stuff. I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. Touche. Because I experienced that in Iris' insomnia. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris' morbid inner consciousness. Emotionally? Well, there is no point in discussing this now. I used to love Uncle. Not like, romantically. I was 12 at the time, and Uncle was already in a relationship. You mean with your mom? Oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. Like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. We always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Um, like bratty cakes. You mean patty cakes? Hmm? It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, tell me his real name. I only what? called him Uncle. Uh, I guess when it, when it's a kid, you don't really care for that type of stuff. Mama so. called him Falco. <gasps> oh, there it is. See, his face is like, wait a minute. Falco. <laughs> Isn't it a funny name? Sort of weird for a Japanese man. Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I never found out where he was from. Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were dating. What? Dun dun dun! Already now figured it out. To take the penalty. Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch. <laughs> and number eighty nine is with Renju now. Okay. At first, I thought we were looking through this flashback through Dante's eyes, like maybe he had known her. But it's actually Falco's flashback looking through his eyes. So these two don't know each other after all. Huh. But then what about the prophecy dream in the beginning? Hmm, interesting. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, everyone you're involved with is like, has like secret, have a whole bunch of secrets actually. I didn't keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? Yes, actually. I told you that I would tell you who my late night visitor was if you went on a date with me. I actually forgot all about that, to be honest. I really did. Like, you told us so much other BS that that little detail just kind of went out the window for me. But yes, please tell me, who came to visit? All right. And we went on a date, so guess I'll tell you now. She looks like she's about to cry. Sunday at 2 a.m., I was visited by... Renji Okira. Oh no. 
Oh yeah, now you definitely gotta tell us what happened now. What? He seemed really sick. The, the music got real dark. Probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no. So I got into his rental car. We went somewhere, I don't know where, some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Yeah, she was probably like, this is looking real shady. I was like, Wait, if you didn't know where he wanted to take you, why'd you even get inside the fucking car if you're gonna flake out? Like... Just... Common sense, Iris. Common fucking sense, please. I'm sorry, I'm just getting a little mad at her right now. Just, like, two plus two equals fucking four. <laughs> I'm sorry, Iris, but this your cum sense is extremely lacking. I told you not to answer the door, you answered it anyway, and then you end up in a sketchy situation, and then you were just like, I don't want to be part of the sketchiness anymore, and then sprinted when you shouldn't have even gone into the car. No, you shouldn't even answer the freaking door is what should have happened. You shouldn't even opened it. No. Period. Mr. Ogira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemniscate. I wanted to trust him. No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. I mean, he never did anything bad to me. He came to my house at 2 in the morning and tried to take me to an abandoned building, but... You never know. Maybe he wanted to show me some flowers, or something that he found. Yeah, you are really grasping for straws right now. Or it was like a prank he was filming for the internet, or something. You were really trying to find the light right now. And that's what I thought at the time. That's what I kept telling myself. But after hearing everything you've told me... I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of Nice. Maybe he's trying to... I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. Well, I didn't go home. I thought he might come back. I just walked around and went into a bunch of stores. Restaurants, coffee shops, net cafes. Oh, you're trying to lose his trail. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone, too. And then, ah, at night, smart. around 7, I think, I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. Where did he take you exactly? Yes, Iris, give us a location. I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years. Bloom Park? A chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Ah, uh, the chemical plant. Okay, we were, we were in the same airfield. Ooh, that was special. Abandoned factory. Here we go. Is this the place? Yes. Where did Renju try to take you? That door in the back.
Oh my god. Oh, hello, we found the other stolen sick machine. And it looks evil as fuck with that color. This is... A sink machine. But why did they want to use it on her, though? That's the question. Though it appears to be slightly different than the one in Abyss. Could this be the prototype Peter was talking about? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years ago. But what is it doing here? Hey, uh, Iris, are you okay? Here she goes again, like, passing out. What is wrong with you? Are you sick? Iris, stay with me! Date, Iris's vital signs are going critical. What? Why? Unknown. But I believe the issue is with her brain. Her brain? Oh, she's got, like... Brain damage or something? Her brain is experiencing massive failure. If this continues, let's get her to a hospital. Impossible. You do not have enough time. I estimate that Iris's brain can last only 10 to 15 more minutes before the damage is irreparable. Oh, How dang. You know that? She's a computer, she can probably figure it out. I scanned and analyzed her thoroughly. Her symptoms indicate that she will die within minutes. What? Sink. What? I'll use the sink machine here to go inside her brain. That will not cure her condition. Okay, I'm not what will it do? To cure her. Two days ago, I saw the dead body. After that, we went into Sosajima's brain. Okay. And in his somnium, I saved Iris. Somehow, I saved Iris in the real world, too. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. If I do the same thing again... But wait a minute, if, if, if her death is happening twice... You might just be postponing the inevitable here. I think reality, if that if that logic is true, reality in the space-time continuum is trying to right itself. And you can't just go around fucking with it if it's if it is the sink machine that's preventing her death. Like you might just have to just let it happen as sad as it is. So what? There might be a little bit of a glitch or two in here is what she's trying to say. I do not know how to reset it. There must be a manual of some kind. We need to find that before we begin. Ah, uh, locker. No manual here. There's a lot of stuff here, but no manual. How about... Sick equipment. I have no idea why this is here. We need to find the manual to operate it. Okay. Device. Nope. The sinker's chair. The person sitting here does the sinking. Okay. Is this a surgical tray? No. Console. This is the console that controls the sync machine. So if we use this... The machine can be activated. But we need the manual first. Manual. Okay. 
Manual, where art thou, Manual? Jeez! Sink? A sink. Nope. An overhead crane. Dante, is that Dante? Finally, that jeez. The, the mail is on that shelf. Can we finally do this now? Manual. Found it. I don't believe it. What's up? What's up? Date, are you ready? Why yeah. were you shocked? Let's go. Why were you shocked? Tell me! I wanna know! Or back in some Minecraft. This looks kind of like the other time I synced with Iris, but there's a different atmosphere now. It's the shrine. By the way, what happened to your usual appearance? I decided to hold back this time. This is no time to be playing around. Putting that aside, you want to help Iris, correct? Then we need to hurry. So what do we need to do? Care to ask the owner of this world? Why is there a wall like appear or something? Consciousness, even in her own somnium. That Dang. proves how critical her condition is. Whoa! What was that? I do not know. But it appears as though we have no choice but to believe those words. The fruit of immortality, huh? But I don't see any fruit. What about that blowing block in we the back? We need to do something about this beam of light first. I've seen that monument before. But back then... Somnium scan! Activate! Two of them. Three. All right. Four. Yeah, her whole brain's glitching out. You can in the main two. To save her, you'll need to give her the fruit of immortality. Looks more like a sugar cube to me. I see. Putting this here cuts off the light. I feel like I've seen this in a movie. Don't you mean you've seen this in Iris's Somnium? Just put it down. Oh, 
Oh, connected, huh? Oh, Alright. Didn't expect that. No, this is... I see. Did you figure something out? He's trying to make a star. This might turn into a pentagram. Oh, I get it. That means... Yes, that leaves this remaining. A monument is placed on top of- I thought it was almond tofu on top of- Where's the thing I need to be at? Oh, it's like right across apparently. A pedestal. Is that what it is? There's nothing. All of them are like investigate or like- Wake her up, talk to her. Oh, all of these hurt. Why do they all hurt? I am assuming this gate leads to the Hall of Worship. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Rather ornate. Yeah, the contractor must have had a hell of a time. I don't want to do either. Oh, I didn't mean to pick an option. You're right. Guess we can't just open it. A Chozuya. Another one. A monument. If you place it against the light, it will complete the pentagram. Do it. What? What? Well, what's going on? Ah, oh, you're back. Ah, oh, you brought a friend. They have appeared before. It may symbolize Iris's insecurities. Whoa! Ow! Deal with them before we find the fruit of immortality. Well, what do you want me to do? They don't want us to complete the pentagram. Is that why they attack the Chozuya and Irises? But this pedestal has not been attacked. They cannot attack it for some reason. You think so? What other explanation could there be? As long as there is even a slight possibility, we must try. 
thinking about what worked previously. We need to make a pentagram. But the attack has scrambled everything. We do not have time for trial and error. Think carefully. I am not about to beat this. in the mood I appreciate the thought but oh okay mm, I feel like I'm gonna fail for this one an egg shaped understood where would you like me to place it That's not either. Huh? It went through. It doesn't seem like we. <laughs> so we're at yellow. We did. Blue is like way over by like the shrine door. You, I'm about to fill this whole thing. Yellow already has something on it. Blue already has something on it. Other blue is like straight down. So we figured that out. Pentagram is complete. What? Come on. Dang, they're like, bitch. Why isn't it working? The pentagram is complete. The placement of the monuments must be incorrect. The lines of the pentagram must form the golden ratio. You cannot call it a true pentagram if the shape is broken. At the very least, Placement needs to be symmetrical. Got it. A 
I'll try again. I don't remember which one was like messed up. Oh no. I'm telling you, I'm about to fail this. I'm gonna keep saying it because I already know. I'm already having a hard time. And we just got through the first lock. And there's two more left. There ain't no way I got enough time for this. So we gotta move the monuments. I just don't know where to move it to. Because it doesn't show me. Well, I don't think this one's wrong. Oh my god, I need a hint! A pedestal with a monument on it. I don't like this puzzle. <laughs> it's too stressful. The light. Show me who the problem child is. The pentagram is complete. Okay, it's it's the red one, like, all the way up to the front. Because that one's small and compared to the other ones. Red one and maybe the blue one. What? Why is it? You cannot the Got it. Yeah, I fell. I fell so hard. Dante, yeah. we don't have much time. We no, no, we can't. Iris, Iris. Yeah, I saw that coming. Cause it was too much time for me to figure out the freaking puzzle. We were just kind of like shovel forge again. Can I move? Thank you. An egg shaped looks more like a sugar cube to me. I see. Putting this here cuts off the light. I feel like I've seen this in a movie. 
Don't you mean you've seen this in I- Just put it down. No, this is... I see. Did you figure something out? This might turn into a pentagram. Oh, I get it. That means... Yes, that leaves this remaining. A Chozuya. Let me see. Hmm, there's something here. A monument. If you place it against the light, it will complete the pentagram. Do it. What? They have appeared before. It may- Whoa! We have to- But the attack has scrambled everything! We do not have time for trial and error. Think carefully. An egg-shaped monument. Understood. Where would you like me to... Knew this oh, works. Daisy. What does that mean? I was merely trying to. I appreciate the thought, but. Oh. Okay. Please let it be right. Let it be right. Let it be right. The light. Yes, thank you. The pentagram's complete. What? Oh man, they still shot at us. What just happened? The world is... It's breaking down. What happened? Where are we? 
Or at least we're kind of in reality. At least it's not Minecraft anymore. I'm sorry, Shovel Forge. Oh, the she changed her form too. Disappeared. I am back to my usual appearance. What about Iris? It appears that she is unharmed. Give the fruit of the Tokiji Kuno Kaku, for you shall then be blessed with eternal life. Aiba, the door to the shrine opened. Is that the fruit of immortality? It appears to be the seed of a citrus fruit of some kind. But we need the actual fruit. That voice said something about the fruit of immortality. I wasn't expecting it to be literal. Some believe that the fruit of immortality is a Tachibana orange. The Tachibana orange comes from a variety of evergreen trees. So we are looking for some kind of fruit. Fruits have edible flesh surrounding the seeds. Right, but if we only have the seed... This is a dream world. If we plant it now, it may grow quickly. All right. Iba, you ready to slash and burn? I see. If we plant it there... It sprouted. This must be a positive sign. With the ashes as compost, then all we need is... Complete the pentagram. Then all we need is like a lantern. Yeah, the pedestal and the monument. Nah. What do we need? Uh, tell me, ashes. This is where the irises were blooming. plant that looks like it could bear the fruit of immortality is sprouting. I wonder what we need to make it grow. Assuming we have plenty of compost with these ashes, we could make a hole for it. Spread the dirt. Put a post up. No. I feel as though we're overlooking something important. Something we need to make the plant grow? It's a Chozuya. Why is it not broken? You do know this is not the Shovel Forge world, correct? But there's a pickaxe on the ground there. Pickaxe? You're right. But why? The pickaxe even looks strange. Maybe Iris left it behind because she wanted you to use it. Perhaps. I'll use it. Whoa! Dang, what happened? It's raining. Oh, I didn't know what that was. I was like, what is this? Those are some weird looking brain clouds. Oh, there goes the tree. So this is the fruit of immortality. We need to hand this over to Iris. Right, hurry. Wait for me, Iris, I'm coming.
Thank you. Be the fruit of immortality. Day six, Wednesday. Oh my god! Worms her freaking eye! Oh good. You're awake. Yeah, but what happened to her freaking eye? Did it explode? Thank you for everything you've done for me. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh my god, is she still dying? I'm gonna die. Aren't I? No. Don't talk crazy. I synced with you to save you. This has to be the timeline where you live. I don't want to die yet. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I, I met you. I wanted to spend more time with you. Oh no, this is a dead scene for sure. I wanted to go places. I'll take you. I'll take you wherever you want. I'll take you to Ijeru, Kunishir, Shikaton, Habamai. Anywhere you want, Iris. Really? Yes. I I'm gonna be okay? Of course. You won't die, I promise. Okay. I'm glad. Where is your eye? I'm sorry, I know this is a very sad scene and where they're like, where he's probably gonna die or not, but the eye, I can't get over it. What, what happened to it? I'm not gonna die. I can be with you forever. Of course you can. You're gonna live, Iris, forever and ever. You'll become a grown woman, get married, have kids. I'll even babysit them for you. Tati, thank you. These past few days have been so much fun. Even with all that, she's still raising the red flag of death. Ah, uh, we about to lose her. Oh, jeez. Please, Mr. Dante! You can't leave me! Your back is so warm, Mr. Dante. It feels like... I've met you before. Then go on a date with me. And the Greek goddess of rainbows. You're the only person I can trust. Yeah, she said one last time. This is it. I've been looking. Are you? Ah. Uh, no, no, Iris. Yeah, like I, I already knew this was gonna happen. It was like even though you saved her in there, it, it doesn't guarantee that she lives. It's. Ah! Uh. 
Iris, no! You can't die. Please, Iris. Iris. Wait, what? No. 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 Oh, hell no. Oh, no. 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 The, take these credits away. Take these credits away. I call BS. No. 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 Okay. I'm not accepting that very sad ending you just gave me. I'm not, I'm not about to accept that. Nah. No. Huh. I see. I am upset with this ending. I, I truly am upset with this ending. Um, but, uh, but yeah, guys, I guess that's the game. <laughs> um, I am so sad that Iris died. She died twice. She died twice. And we did everything right, and she still died. And she lost her eye. Where, where did her eye go? Oh yeah, we definitely replaying this. We are so replaying it. Um, none of the mysteries got solved. Literally, none of the mysteries got solved. It's just kind of like game over. Like I'm, I'm so upset with this. Um, yeah, we're definitely playing this over. Um, we about to find that true ending. Um, we're gonna figure out what's going on. There's so many mysteries that have yet to be solved. And I know for a fact that there are multiple endings, which means there's definitely multiple paths I can take. I just need to figure out which path leads to the true ending. And we're going to find that. We're going to find that true ending. We are definitely going to find that true ending. Um, probably in the next video. Um, well, I don't know if I'm going to make an another video of this game. I m might or may not. It really did. I think it really depends on y'all because if you guys want, want more videos of this game um, and would like to see me struggle to find all the endings, then please destroy that like subscribe button and I'm gonna let the credits roll to see if there's anything else at the end. So you guys go and enjoy that and I'll see you guys next time.